a lot of people ask me about this if I'm a Kanye fan but listen to Kanye I'm just like no not really um, I got it because it looks good like but I do like his album the college dropout that's a good one I would say that um, it looks nice um, and because this resembles a vinyl I don't have one. I've always, always wanted one. I love, I love soul music, old music, Donny Hathaway. Um, I love Nina Simone. Um, blues, I love the blues. I wrote my college essay about the blues. Yeah, that and slavery. I was gonna write about slavery. <laughs> So these boots are from my brand. Um, I really like them because I'm really, I'm really into denim, denim boots. I love denim boots. So that was my inspiration for this. Something denim and distressed and yet comfortable. The heel isn't too high. Um, um, so I've worn these, I always said I wore these for like eight hours and my feet were perfectly fine and I like them. I got a lot of compliments on these. Yeah, the only downside to it is if I were to um, <clears throat> change them or remake them, I would add a zipper. Yeah. yeah it's a struggle to put on. <laughs> yeah, a zipper for sure. Other than that, I really like it. Um, maybe I'll add a real pocket somewhere. Nice, to nice. Put your lipstick inside. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. And the perfumes. I'll put this right here. My perfumes? Yes. Um, whenever anyone sees my perfumes, they're like, wow. I remember my mom came here on um, my birthday and she saw it. She was like, blood of Jesus, what's going on here? And I'm just like, she said that, like, she'll criticize my perfumes, but then, like, she actually stole one. Like, come on. But, I feel like my mom, she, instead of me going in her closet and stealing things, she's coming into my closet and stealing things now. That's a flex, though. It really is. <laughs> it really is. Like, I, I appreciate that. I really do. But I'm slowly turning all my friends into fragrance freaks. Um. And, yeah. And my sister. My sister is, how old is she? I forgot how old she is. I think she's 10. You're a great good sis. Huh? You're a great, great, great good sis. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, she's starting to build her own collection, which is great. That's good. Yeah, and all my friends are they're starting to build their own collection as well. I'm a, I'm a great influence. Thank you. So, my favorite one would have to be... Okay, I'll give you my top five. Number one, I would say, is um, it's this one, the Kayali Juicy Eden Apple. Um, I remember the first time I wore this, um, there was a ambulance truck at our place, and I walked outside um, to get into my Uber, and then one of the firefighters chased me to ask what I was wearing. He was like, what's your name? I was like, Mm, none of your business. <laughs> um, my number two would be um, would be this. It's called Yum Pistachio Gelato by Kiali. This is my most complimented fragrance, actually. Um, this this is actually a dupe for this. So I mainly wear this one because it's a lot more less expensive. This was like thirty dollars. I'm I'm saving this. I'm preserving this one. How much was that one? This one was this was this was forty. Mm hmm Yeah. How much is the one you're saving? This is thirty dollars. Okay. Thirty dollars for ten ml. Crazy. Um my number three would be mm, what would be this one? 
it's called Velvet Gold. Look at it, it's so pretty. Um, it smells so good. Um, I've gotten so many compliments on it. It's, uh, I'm an oversprayer and I've only used this perfume like three times and look at the dent, it's crazy. This was $80, so I'm preserving it, I'm preserving it. And then number four, I would say is this is called Sharaf Oud by Swiss Arabian. It's a very potent scent. If you want someone to smell you and not forget you, wear this. Wear this. If you want a man to never forget the way you smell, wear this. If you want to, if you want his house to smell like you. Wear this. If you want to drive him crazy, wear this. <laughs> um, number four, I would say, is... Hmm, I'll say this. Why I sell babe. This smells so good. Perfect date night scent. Ten out of ten recommend. <clears throat> Wait, was that five or four? That's five. Okay, we're done. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, my shades! Okay, so I began building my collection freshman year, and I stopped sophomore year. Um, I was big into shades. I'm not anymore, because I'm just, I don't know. It was a phase. And these are actually by my brand. Oh, I gotta put them on right. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Um, these are from my brand. This is the way they look, and it has the brand name right there. I'll get it. I'll trust them. Okay. <laughs> um, I like this in particular because it gives like a um, old school Y2K vibe, and I like it. This is the way it looks. Whenever I wear these out, I always get compliments. That's how you know your stuff is good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that your favorite one? Uh, in my whole collection? Oh, yeah. Or the ones you have here? Um, I would say, yeah. I pick these up more often than others. Um, this and these. These are cool. Did you make these? No, I didn't make these. What are they? Huh? What are they? Like, what brand are they? Mm. Honestly, I have no idea. She's gatekeeping. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> I, I don't remember where I got these from. I really don't know where that I got these from. Um, yeah, I just like them. I like the star. It reminds me of Captain America. True. Yeah. So, I thrifted, if not all my bags. This is a, this is my friend's bag, Jenna. Say you about right. I thrifted this brown bag, great quality. Oh my goodness, thrifted this. Um, this was this is a prototype, a sample from my brand actually. Yeah, I like it. It's you can like take these out. And right like this. It's quite unique. Um, what is the name of your brand? Loritier. Nice. And then this I thrifted. I love this bag. And then this I got from Shein. <laughs> this I got this vintage coat bag from the thrift store. Like, come on. I love it. And then this is also a sample from my brand. Oops, this bag. Yeah. What was the inspiration for it? Honestly, I don't remember. I was on Pinterest one day. I love Pinterest for inspiration. Like, it's 
amazing. Um, I was on Pinterest one day and um, I saw, I actually saw a bag um, with the shape like this, like this was the shape of the bag. And it, it looked quite peculiar and I was like, well, let me see what I can do with that. Hmm. And I just, this was the end goal of the product. I really like it. <clears throat> um, what else? This is my favorite thrifted bag. This one. Great quality. It's our nine. Nine West bag. Um, what else is there? Oh, um, this is also like um a loungewear sample from my brand. It came with um the zip up, a corset top. And some sweats but this is very comfortable very thick this was a sample and this was also another sample this vintage oops this is vintage black vintage black lip yeah So you got it. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, this one, A Little Life. This book, this is the only book that has made me cry. Oh my goodness. Um, it's about four college classmates um, who are experiencing trauma from their childhood in their adult years. Um, <clears throat> it touches on addiction, success, pride, suicide, rape, um, being sexually assaulted. Um, being, feeling, feeling alone even though you're surrounded by people who love you, basically. And all these topics are very are viewed as taboo to talk about um but this book i feel like is a real life representation of life of the things you go through in life um yeah i recommend but if you're mentally unstable i don't need this book i haven't finished it i'm taking a break because it's it's not an easy read. It's hard because of everything that you experience emotionally. Um, you're taking on all their emotional trauma onto yourself. And it can get very heavy at times. So, yeah. It's a little life. And also, one more thing. This is the only book you need. The Bible. Um, self-help books, like, I feel like books, if books are really necessary, when you want to learn about life, when you want to learn about peace, forgiveness, all these things, struggles, this is the only thing you really need, if I'm being honest. Um, everything else is just extra. This is the only true book you need. What's your favorite book in it? Huh? What's your favorite book? I would say Psalms because every single night my mom would make us read Psalms 91 and 92 and mm. it's just it's just ingrained in me at this point. Um, I also really like um, <clears throat> Proverbs and but my favorite would be John. My favorite verse is this is an NLT version, by the way. King James, can't do that. Mm, <laughs> old. No, literally, I can't do that. Um, John 15, um, 
um, verse 27 says, I am leaving you with the gift of peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give you is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Basically, it's saying that all these, whenever, there was a point in my life where someone would ask me what brings me peace and God would be in the picture. And that's a worldly and temporary peace. That is not something permanent. And um, you have to have faith in him in order to experience any type of longevity when it comes to happiness and peace and just looking to him for all these Just looking to him when you're in trouble, it should be your first go-to, the Bible. Yeah. What else? Is that it? I think that's it. I think so. 